Okay, here comes level four. Let's do this one. X squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 15. I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good, so I'm wondering what the trick is on this one. There's got to be a little snag that makes it a little more complicated to be level four. Well, let's find out. X squared, fine. I'll draw a square. I know I want to draw a complete picture of a square. There's part of it, x by x. Done. Now I want an area of negative 4x, but I want to be symmetrical, so negative 2x and negative 2x, done. Looking good. Uh, something times x makes negative 2x, so this will be negative 2. Something times x makes negative 2x, negative 2. Fabulous! Which means the final little piece when I complete the picture, complete the picture of the square, is I want negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And then I've got a panic, because look, the picture wants a 4, and I don't have 4. We have three. There is a snag. That was the snag. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. So I'm having a little panic moment. What can I do? The picture wants a four. I don't have a four. Oh. Oh. So here's a piece of advice. If you want to make something happen, just make it happen. I want a four there. I can make that happen. I could actually just add one. Would that make it a four? Now, I can't just add one at random. I'm going to keep, there's going to be consequences. If I add one to the left, it means I better add one to the right as well. So that means I'm really going to have the equation x squared minus 4x plus 4, which is what I wanted, now equals 16, 15 plus 1. Oh, but now I'm good. Now I'm good because all this is precisely this square. x squared minus 4x plus 4 is this x minus 2 minus x minus 2 as a square. x minus 2 as a square is 16, and I'm back to level 2, which is grand. So x minus 2 must be 4 or negative 4, so x must be 6 or negative 2. Did I do that correctly? Brilliant, brilliant. All right, so, so let's do another one. Let me clean the board and we'll have another fun level 4 problem. Back in a moment. Okay, I'm excited. Let's solve x squared plus 10x plus 30 equals 69. Why not? Here goes. Let me draw the square. Love the square. I love the quadrus method. Is this grand? The x squared piece. Yes, from x times x. Got it. 10x. Keep it symmetrical. Symmetry is my friend. 5x and 5x. Love it. Something times x makes 5x. Must be 5. X something times x makes 5x. Must be 5. 5 times 5 means I want a piece of 25. We've got a mismatch, we've got a mismatch. The question is 30, not 25, but I'm not phased. I'm going to subtract 5 from the left, which means I'm going to subtract 5 from the right, and rethink the equation as x squared plus 10x plus 25, that's what I want, equals huh, 64. It's a nice number. All right, so why did I bother doing all that work? Because all this stuff here, x squared plus 10x plus 25, is the square, x plus 5 x plus 5 is a square. x plus 5 is a square is 64, so x plus 5 must be 8 or negative 8, so x must be subtracting 5, 3, or negative 11. Did I do the arithmetic correctly there? Beautiful, beautiful. Just love this work. So actually, your turn, your turn. Let me give one for you to, you to do now. Um, on your own, on your own, please solve this one. x squared minus 6x equals 3. Can you do that one? Oh boy, we're just swimming along. We're now ready for level five. What complication could arise now? Well, let's find out. Let's solve this one. x squared plus 3x plus 1, whoops, make it neat, make it neat, equals 5. All right, love it. I love our success. Let's do it. So I'll draw the square. Let's draw the quadrus method. So I'll have the piece, that's x squared, coming from x times x, grand. And then I've got 3x. Ooh, 3x. I want to be symmetrical, so I want to split it in half. So I'm going to have to do 1 and a half x and 1 and a half x. Ooh, ooh, I'm not enjoying this. I mean, I can do it. I can then do 1 and a half and 1 and a half, and I can work out this number, which is, I don't know, what is 1 and a half times 1 and a half? My brain's hurting. My brain is hurting. All right, all right. I bet you could do it. If you want to, carry on. Push through this. I bet you'll get an answer. But here's the thing. I'm not enjoying the hard work right now. So I'm going to be a mathematician and I'm going to think for a while and try to avoid hard work. I mean, what was the problem? What made this one awkward? It was this middle number being odd. I don't like it being odd because I can't split in half easily. So how can I turn an odd number into an even number? 
And I think about it for a while and I think, okay, here's something I could do. So it just occurred to me, I could double everything. So I'll double everything, so let's multiply by two. So let's now make it two x squareds plus six x plus two equals 10. All right, now I've got six x in the middle, six x in the middle, so I can do that one. But let's go ahead and do it. And I think right now I'm already, already seeing a challenge. Two x squared. Now I could do this as two x and x, but do you know what then? I'm disobeying my rule. Symmetry is my friend, that is not symmetrical. I won't be getting a square anymore. Ah. Well, actually, there is a way around that. There's a way around that. I could do this as root 2 times x and root 2 times x. And this is 3x and 3x. Do you know what? If I didn't like working with fractions, I don't think I'm going to enjoy working with square roots. And I bet if you wanted to, you could complete this picture and keep going, and it will work. I bet you can make it work. In fact, try it if you like. But I'm not having fun. I don't want to work with square roots. All right, so I'm going to go back to the drawing board and say, OK, doubling didn't help me out. It was a brilliant idea. It was a really good idea. Just turned out not to be helpful. This is the nature of mathematics. You often have brilliant ideas that just don't turn out to be helpful. Oh, well, it happens. So I need another idea. Times me by 2 was awkward because it made a 2x squared there. Hmm, what could I do? Now, here's the thing about being a mathematician. Speed is not important, because right now I'm stuck on a problem, and I don't know what my brain's going to do. It's going to come up with something really clever. So I might have to like go for a little walk and just let my brain think about it for a while. Or I might have to go to sleep for the night and let my brain come back to it tomorrow after a good night's rest. Or I might just like wait a week. Who knows when a good, good idea is going to come to me? So this is the nature of mathematics. You have to like let your subconscious work on these problems. Now, unfortunately, I'm obviously giving a video with some time minutes attached to this, and we have to give away my answer here. But here's something clever that occurred to me. In fact, it's occurred to lots of people. Lots of people thought of this. In fact, scholars, I think the Babylonians 4,000 years ago thought of this idea too. If doubling didn't work, if timesing by two wasn't helpful, someone said, how about this? Multiply by four instead. Because that will still make the middle number even, but look what it does to the front. It now makes it four x squared, which I think is nice. Plus 12 x plus four equals 20. Yes, are you with me? Because now when I draw the square, the quadrus for this, I think we're in good shape. Because look, 4x squared, that is nice. 2x by 2x. Symmetry. Symmetry is our friend, and I've kept nice numbers here. 12x, keep it symmetrical. Make it 6x and 6x. Grand, grand. Something times 2x makes 6x. Must be a 3. Must be a 3. 2x three, times 3 is 6x. So far, so good. 3 times 3 means the missing piece is 9. I don't have a 9, but I'm not going to panic because I make it 9 by adding 5, adding 5. So now it's really 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 20 plus 5, 25. Now, why do I go through all this work? Because all this here, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is a 2x plus 3 by 2x plus 3 squared. 2x plus 3 as a square must have area 25 and I'm back to level 2. Everything goes back to being level 2. I just love it. I just love it. So something squared is 25, so my something better be, what, uh, 5 or negative 5. So 2x must be 2 or negative 8. So x must be 1 or negative 4. This is grand. This is mighty, mighty grand. Do you see what we did then? Multiplying by 4 to save the day for us. Because an even middle term gives a nice square quantity at the beginning and life was golden thereafter. So perhaps we should do another one. Let's do one together right now. But I've got to clean the board. Back in a moment. All right, let's try this one. x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 5. Let's do it. Off we go. Um, oh, odd middle term. I'm not going to like 3 and a half x and 3 and a half x. So I'm going to multiply through by 4. That will handle that odd middle term and keep the front nice. So I think of 4x squared plus 28x minus 8 equals 20. So a lot of people think I'm strange doing that because I just made the numbers huge. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. I think I've made my picture nice. So let's do it. Here's the nice picture that's going to come out of this. Here it goes. So I've got area 4x squared, which must come from 2x and 2x. I've got 28x, which I want to split evenly. So 14x and 14x. So many times 2x makes 14x, 7, 7. 7 times 7 is 49. All right, so I want 49. 
I don't have 49, I have negative 8. But I'm not going to panic. I'm fine. Because to make this 49, I have to add to this, oh, was it add 57, is it? Am I right? I think so. Add 57. Okay, so now I've got 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 equals 77. Okay, I think 77 is an awkward number, but so be it. But this part's not awkward, that part is nice, because that's my square, that's all this stuff. It's really a 2x plus 7 by 2x plus 7 square. 2x plus 7 as a square is 77. All right, numbers aren't nice, but I'm just going to push through nonetheless. Here goes, something squared is 77. So my something is root 77, whoops, sorry, scrawly handwriting, root 77, or the negative square root of 77, the negative version. Great. Uh, subtract 7 from everything. So 2x is root 77, take away 7, or negative root 77, take away 7. Lots of scrawly handwriting here. Thing I'm about to go off the camera for you, so let me divide by 2. I can do this on a whiteboard pretty easily. Bingo. x is either root 77 minus 7, all divided by 2, or negative root 77 minus 7, all divided by 2. Okay. Okay. Not very friendly answers in the end. But the actual process was fine. The process was nice. In fact, the picture's nice. Completing the square literally was lovely. All right. So maybe a practice problem or two for you? Would that be fun? Give it a try. OK, we're finally at level six. This is the ultimate level. If you can solve this one we're about to do now, we can do any quadratic whatsoever just by using the power of area and symmetry. The square being symmetrical, symmetry is our friend. All right, so let's try this one. Here's the final complication. You'll notice that in every example so far, I've had just single x squared, single x squared, single x squared, but now I've got a number in front of the x squared, and that's a complication. In fact, you can see that if I just try to do the square method right away, it's going to be the same problem we had before when I tried doubling everything. If I have a 3x squared, I kind of want root 3x and root 3x, which I can make work. In fact, you can make this work, but it just won't be fun. So the question is, how can I handle this awkward beginning? And you might think about this for a while and realize, oh, here's what I can do. And this is one of these moments again, we might take you know, a few minutes to think about this, or an hour, if you're like me, probably take you a couple of days to think of this to do. But what if I multiply by the front number again, multiply by 3, and make this 9x squared, because I'm feeling 9x squared is nice. And triple this one makes 15x. And triple this one makes 3 equals 27. So I'm tripling everything to make the front be 9x squared. But then I see I have another problem. 15x is that odd middle term. So what can I do about that? I can multiply everything by 4. Okay, so now I multiply everything by 4, but then I get nervous because I might ruin my perfectly nice front here. But actually, this is a square number times a square number. I'll get 36x squared, which I think is still nice. Another perfect square number. So actually, we haven't ruined it. That'll be 36x squared plus 60x times 4 plus 12, which is times 4, and 27 is 54, 108. Okay, I know this seems absurd to be dealing with such huge numbers, but actually it makes the picture very, very nice. Um, let's see if we have enough room. I'll try it. I'll do it in small, in blue. So now I've got, completing the square, 36x squared must come from 6x and 6x. Nice. 60x, make it symmetrical, 30x, 30x, golden. So far so good. Something times 6x makes 30x, 5. 5. Looking good. Uh, 5 times 5 means the missing piece is 25. I don't have 25. I'm not going to panic. I'll make it 25. Add 13. Add 13. So now my equation is really uh, 36x squared plus 60x plus 25 equals 121. Happens to be a nice number. Okay, great. So all this crazy stuff there is that square. It's 6x plus 5 by 6 plus 5 as a square. 6x plus 5 as a square has area 121. I'm back to level 2. Beautiful. So we can solve that. 6 plus 5 must be 11 or negative 11. Take away 5, divide everything by 6, out will come the answer. Grand. This is level 6, and this is as hard as it gets. Wow, that's brilliant, brilliant. So let me just give you one to try, and then if you can solve this one, you truly can solve any quadratic just by understanding the power of area. You have to love it. But of course, 
People want you to know something called the quadratic formula. We'll do that in the next video because actually we have been doing the quadratic formula all along. The quadratic formula is this quadrus method in disguise and I'll show you that next video. But you know, here's your one practice problem to finish off today to celebrate your brilliant nature, your brilliant work, your brilliant thinking. Here goes. Please solve this one because if you can solve this one, you're golden to solve any one. 5x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 4. Beautiful. A number in the front, which is awkward. And not a number in the middle, which is awkward. And the rest just probably doesn't work out nicely, but you can probably fix it to be what, what you want it to be. You can make this work. Go for it.